All right, Ford fans, I'm going to show you how to get ahead with Aeroflow Performance cylinder heads. So, in addition to our cylinder head range, we've decided to expand into the Ford small block and FE cylinder heads. Now, uh, we've touched on this previously when it comes to cylinder heads, alloy cylinder heads are excellent, not just for the performance from a horsepower figure for your engine, but also because you're gonna wipe a bunch of pounds off the front end of your motor. So when you consider some of these engines like the small block or the FE, um, when they come out of the factory, you're talking cast iron heads, cast iron intake manifold. When you're changing to an alloy head and an alloy intake manifold, easily you're gonna be losing 10 to 15 kilos uh, or 20, 20, 25 pounds uh, off the front end of your car, which not only is gonna make it quicker, uh, it's also gonna make it handle better. Um, believe it or not, a lot of people don't consider that fact, but uh, show me something else that you can just wipe 20 pounds off the front of a car uh, without having to change anything drastic. So that's a byproduct of the alloy cylinder heads, which is one of the reasons why it's such a good point to go to an alloy cylinder head when you're doing a rebuild or you're building a fresh motor uh, for your street car or your, uh, your street and strip weapon. Uh, again, I've mentioned that our range of cylinder heads is very high quality, but affordable at the same time. Now that means that you're gonna get a great cylinder head, but it might not be suitable for your all out sub seven second drag car. Um, you know, if you're gonna build something that has 2,000 horsepower, these aren't the heads for you. And that's okay. There's plenty of other manufacturers out there that make specific, high, extreme high performance, all out race cylinder heads. These are for the 90% guys that are gonna build a nice street cruiser, something that might have 600 horsepower, 700 horsepower, no problem. But it might only have 350 horsepower. So something that's just gonna get in, it's gonna drive nice, and it's gonna be cool to look at and you get that performance benefit of the alloy cylinder head. So a couple of different versions here, uh, those of you that might notice, this guy is the odd one out. Uh, this is the early Ford FE engine. So uh, it's, it, it's a precursor to the Ford big block. Um, so it's a larger, larger block itself, but the cylinder head design uh, is very different to everything else. Uh, and they're fairly rare as well. So we're happy to be able to introduce this 170cc bare as cast uh, cylinder head that uh, we've got in the range now for the FEs. Uh, that's gonna go straight on there. You're gonna get a nice, nice improvement over the factory FE head, as we mentioned, lighter uh, and readily available. So uh, we carry those in stock now, which is a good thing. We only do these bare as well. Um, so you'll be able to spec up your valves, your valve springs, you know, all, all your shims, uh, retainers, everything that you need to go in there to suit your application. So discuss that with your engine builder uh, or do some research with your cam guy or whatever it is that you need to do before you're putting these on your motor. So that's the FE units. The other cylinder heads that you can see here are for small block Windsor. So I know everyone's gonna ask me about Cleveland. I know you're gonna ask me about Cleveland cylinder heads. We don't have them yet. We're working on it. We are, we are I promise you, we're working on Cleveland cylinder heads. We just don't have them yet. So I know you're gonna mention it in the comments and you're gonna post, when's the Cleveland ones, blah, blah, blah. I don't have a date for you yet, but we are working on it. So sit tight. Windsor though, there's plenty of Windsors out there. They're in lots of different, lots of different cars. They're a great little motor, a sweet little thing. Uh, we've got the 175 as cast CC. This is a complete unit, also available bare. So you can either have uh, with our valves, pack valve springs, uh, retainers, collets, etc. Uh, or you can get it bare and you can put your own uh, pieces in there to suit your application. We've also got the 185 CNC option that you can see here. It's just a bare cylinder head. So that's got the CNC profile run through the intake ports, exhaust ports, and the combustion chamber, of course. So a beautiful little cylinder head. The 185 cylinder head also comes as cast with a 185cc inlet runner, uh, but both CNC and cast versions are available bare or complete with valves and valve springs, etc. Same uh, as our other cylinder heads, uh, small block Chevy 716th Rocker Stud um, is supplied with the complete units 
as well as pushrod guide plates. Moving on to uh, the high horsepower or larger capacity uh, version, we've got the 205cc uh, inlet runner cylinder head. These are also available in a CNC option, but it's a 200cc uh, with the CNC option. As cast 205, CNC is 200. Um, again, bare or complete, depending on your application. Uh, I need to reiterate, guys, please speak to your engine builder or your cam guy. Do some research if you're putting the engine together yourself so that you choose the right size, the right application. If you're looking at the complete heads because it's very convenient to have a complete cylinder head to just bolt on, make sure you check out the specs for the valve springs and the valves to make sure that they will suit your cam combination because if they won't suit the amount of lift you've got or it's too big of an inlet runner, the car's gonna to lose torque, bottom end. Uh, it may not be exactly what you want, so just make sure you do your research. All of the flow specs and the specs on the valves and the springs are available in our catalog or online on our website. All right, Ford fans, now you know all about the alloy cylinder heads that we've got for your favorite engine. You can check them out at your local distributor, a quality retail outlet, or jump online at aeroflowperformance.com.